Hi, I'm Pam Cullen of Three Mile Pond Girl Creates, and today we're going to make this quick and easy Christmas card. So we're using some of the products from the Painted Christmas Suite, and I'll show you that in just a few minutes, but let me just show you um, this card. So this is the Painted Christmas Designer Series paper that we're going to be using. We're also using, and I don't think you can see it on here, but we're using that Shimmer Vellum paper, which I'll show you in a minute. And we're also using the um, Cherry Cobbler and Gold Ribbon, which is really, really pretty. So then I just layered this up with some crumb cake, early espresso crumb cake, and the Designer Series paper. And then on the inside of the card, I did the same thing with the crumb cake layer basic white, and then another little piece of the designer series paper on the inside. So we're going to be using, out of the mini catalog, um, several of the products, like I mentioned in this paint, painted Christmas suite. So we're going to be using the seasonal label dies, which um, that puts that put this on here. We're going to change it up for, our, for the card that we're making together today. Just a little bit there. We're using the... Um, cherry cobbler and gold ribbon, and we're also using the painted Christmas 12 by 12 designer series paper. And that's, um, that's basically what we're using out of the suite. But I did want to say to you that everything in this mini catalog is um, the final day to order from this is January 3rd. So if there are products in here that you have been had your eye on and have been looking at, I would suggest that you order them right away because they'll they're basically at this point um while supplies last because they they're the ones that are going away will go away and they won't reorder them so don't wait if there's something in here that you really like so let's um let me show you again a um, couple of these products that we're going to be using so this is that really pretty painted christmas paper and these are the designs on one side and of course, that's the one we're using today. And then um, we can flip these over and you'll see these other really pretty designs on the other side. So it gives you a lot of options for, um, for your cards, which I really, really love that one. I think that's so pretty. And so then, as I had mentioned, we use the shimmer vel vellum on there. And I want to show you this. This is comes in the 21 to 23 in colors and um, I'm going to try to name them and um, I've said in other videos I'm so bad at getting the names right but if I don't get them right I everything that I'm using today will be in the description section of the video so and they'll be right there so I'm sorry this is the pale papaya soft succulent fresh freesia evening evergreen and polished pink I think I got them right so, but look how pretty that paper is and sparkly. Again, I don't know if the camera's picking up on that, but boy, oh boy, you, that gives you a lot of sparkle for your pages, um, for your papers. So I just wanted to take a minute and show you the last thing um, is that the seasonal label dies that you get, this is, these are all the dies that you get in that seasonal labels package. So it cuts out from this Christmas seasons, it will cut out this, this part, cuts out a lot of these leaves, the, the, some of the pine cones. So it's a really great set, that, the holly and the berries. But we're not gonna be using that today for our card, but we are gonna be using this piece, uh, this part of it. And we're gonna be using this, this one, which was for our sentiment piece. But like I mentioned before, I'm going to use these, um, whoops, I can't pick them up. Sorry, I'm gonna be using these little pieces here because what that's gonna do, and I'll show you here because I already have one cut, is it, it puts, um, it puts a, these nice little slices on the sides of your sentiment piece. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna weave our ribbon. Instead of having our ribbon underneath, we're actually going to weave it through those pieces for the front part of our, our of our of our sentiment piece for the card that we're making now. And so the that these are the ones that we used to make this one. But then I also wanted to show you because I cut another one, and I also wanted to show you that these little 
these little guys here will give you a piece that looks like this. And of course, those pieces will work on, on every one of these other sentiment pieces. So it gives you a lot of options for, you know, running your ribbon through or doing whatever you wanted to do with those. This is crooked, so don't pay attention to that. that was, this was my test run. But I just wanted to get, show you what kind of a design it will give you when you when you run those things through. So that's um, that's what we're going to be doing for our for our second card that we're making together today. And I think that's everything. The la the only other thing we're going to be using is the tidings and trimming stamp set, which is another of my favorite. And this one's actually in the annual catalog, so this one will be around until June. So that's great. You know, I love, I love this. So, and I love the sentiments in this. So we're going to, obviously we're using the, it's the most wonderful time of the year for the front and may your days be merry and bright for the inside of the card. So also tidings and trimmings for that. All right, let's put this stuff away and I'll show you the card pieces that we're going to be using. Tuck this up here. So as I mentioned, we're using a the card base is early espresso, which is 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. And then we have a piece of crumb cake that's five and a quarter by four. And then our 12 by 12 designer series paper, which is uh, five by three and three quarters. And then we have a piece of the, vel the shimmer vellum, which is one and a half by, I think it's four one and a half by four. And then um, our inside pieces, which again is a crumb cake five and a quarter by four and a three and three quarter by five piece that's gonna layer up on the inside. Our small piece of designer series paper for the inside, our piece of ribbon and a scrap piece for, um, for die cutting our sentiment piece. So I think that we have everything that we need to get started with this card. So what I'd like to do first is I think we'll go ahead and get our stamping done. And then, and the only ink that we're using today is um, Early Espresso ink. So we're going to bring our ink in and we're just going to stamp that uh, May Your Days Be Merry and Bright on that basic white, on that basic white piece here a little bit near the top. There we go. I've got a little spot on there, so we're gonna flip this over. And we're gonna try again. That's why I love that there are two sides to the paper. So it gives you two chances to get this right. All right, let's try that again. There, that's better. That's pretty. All right, so actually, these are photopolymer stamps, so I should be using my um, piercing mat underneath this to give it a little bit more um, padding, but I didn't bring it over here. So fortunately, we're still getting a good, we're getting a good impression on that. So I already die cut my piece for the sentiment, so we're gonna go ahead and just stamp that it's the most wonderful time of the year in the center of this. There we go. All right, so we have our stamping done. And so now we're just gonna go ahead and put this card together. See, I told you this isn't gonna take us this isn't going to take us very long at all. It's mostly just, that was all the stamping we needed to do. And um, so we're just going to have to, we're going to glue these pieces together, weave our ribbon through here, and we're going to be done with this card. So let me bring in my glue, and we're going to go ahead and glue. Sorry, Frank, the dog is here with me today. One of these days, we'll... Put him on camera and introduce him. You've heard him before in my other videos. He barks and snores and makes himself known. So, <laughs> so if you hear random noises, it's just Frank. He likes to hang out with me here. 
Okay, so we're going to put that um, that pretty piece of designer series paper on our crumb case base, crumb cake base. Now the only thing we're doing differently here is that because this is vellum, you you can't you shouldn't you can, but it, the glue shows through when you glue it. So there's a product that you can get, and this isn't a Stampin' Up product, but it works really good, and it's called um, Plus. Um, I'll put the I. It's a anyway. It's a it's a vellum. Uh, it's a vellum. I can't find the word. Tape runner. It's vellum tape, and so it's specifically made for adhering vellum, and it works really really well. And you can't really see it. I'm putting a lot on there because I want the my first card. The corners didn't want to stick down on here, so. So I'm going to stick this on, and then I'm going to try to hold it up and show you that you can't, once you get that down there, you can't see, see, and now you can't see that I've glued that. So this is a really great product, and like I said, I'll put a link on there to, you can get it on Amazon, and it works really well. So on this card, whoops not a screen here uh, on this card at this point I glued this ribbon down but we're not going to do that this time because we're going to put that um, ribbon through our sentiment piece so here's that pretty look how pretty that ribbon is so what we're going to do is we're going to just weave this in probably take take a pick tool oh, I got a new one always telling you I can't find mine so I broke down got bought a new one but we're gonna use this just gonna weave this in through here and I just think it's gonna add a little see we're gonna be able to see that ribbon better this time than we could before but now I'm wondering do we want to put this up on dimensionals let's try it to see what happens I may not if I didn't bring my dimensionals over here. I did. It's just for a day. Oh, they're right in front of me. All right, so let's, I'm just wondering how this ribbon's gonna lay down. Just wondering how this is gonna lay down. Still might work. You can see this is a, oh yeah, that's gonna be fine. All right, so let's, Go ahead and take those backs off our dimensionals. Try to get them off us. See, and the other thing is on my first on my first card I made, I just had the ribbon come over here, but as you can see, it frays a little bit on the ends, and I didn't really want that showing on the card. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and take this ribbon flip it over and I just use, you can use your tape runner, you can use whatever you want to, but I basically just use scotch, good old scotch tape. Make sure it's straight on there and tight. There we go. All right, so, oh yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So now we just need to glue this piece down to the inside, I mean to the front, of our card oh that's pretty that really it's funny how just one little change up can make such a difference on your card but see it doesn't hide that that ribbon gets to shine a little literally <laughs> literally shine a little bit more because it's out you know it's out instead of tucked under yep I think that looks really nice and um, okay so now we're gonna just go ahead and we'll put this piece on the bottom our stamped piece for the inside I'm not sure if this is I don't think that there's a top and bottom to this paper the direction I should say I think it's directional glue there. Let's 
So we're just going to put that down on the bottom. And I just think that gives a nice feature to this. And then we're going to glue, cover up our mistake, and glue this down, and nobody will ever know. Right, and then just glue this to the inside of our card and we're done. So see what I mean? This is not, this did not take us a long time, but I think it's a really pretty card. And it would be fast, you know, fast and easy to reproduce to send along to folks, so. Whoops, I got a little grab that. I've shown you this before in my videos, but it's a, it's a an adhesive eraser and it's really a great little tool to have. Again, not a Stampin' Up! product, but see, it, it takes that right off there. Get a little bit of glue on your paper and it takes it right off. All right, folks, well, we are done with our card. So here are the two different options. And um, I'd love to hear in the comments which one you like better. And if you are watching this video for the first time, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell. And that way you'll get notified whenever I post a new video. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. If you'd like, there's a new mini catalog and a celebration catalog coming out. And if you don't have one and would like to have one, please make, uh, let me know in the comments or email me at 3 and I'd be happy to send one right out to you. If you would like to, there's a new join offer coming up in January to join my team, but I would love to have you join my team anytime. Um, we have a great time. We do swaps, we do team swaps, we do blog hops. We try do a lot of things together to support each other in our businesses. And, and it's just great, great to be part of the Stampin' Up! family. And so if you'd like to have more information on that, I'd love to talk to you about that. Just reach out to me. So I appreciate you stopping by my channel and I hope you like the card that we made today and I will see you soon. Thanks so much and take care.